Stop recording. Speech off. Hey guys, today I'm just gonna be screwing around with my Amazon Echo Dot. Speech on. Echo. You're an idiot. Whoa. Echo, what's your name? My name is Alexa. Just testing it to make sure it can shut down. No, let's unplug my phone. Um, let's play this. Whoa. Dude, let's just turn my... What the heck? What the freak is this? Wait, is this Drake? <laughs> I just pressed the play button on my remote and it just started playing Drake. That was random. What the... Okay. That's just weird. Echo. Stop. Let's just use my remote. You're stupid. That's not very nice to say. You're an idiot. That's not very nice to say. I don't care. Sorry. Thanks for the feedback. <laughs> Simon says, bop it in tech. Bark in tech. Bark in tech. Echo, Simon says, Tech and more is awesome. Tech and more is awesome. Oh, I said tech, you idiot. Echo, Simon says, I didn't say take. I said tech, you idiot. I didn't say take, I said tech, you idiot. <laughs> Echo, Simon says, D's nuts. D's nuts. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is so fun. I could do this for hours. Unfortunately, I can't. Because it is almost 9 o'clock. Which, so I'm probably going to go to bed really late tonight because even though it's a school night, freaking daylight savings time. Can't wait for my spring break, which starts on March 27th. Ah! Oh my god, why did it just play Drake when I press a button? Is it like a Drake button on my remote? Tell me a riddle. What goes up and never comes down? Your age. Your age. Not necessarily true. Ah! Stop, stop recording. Button. Speech off. Tell me another riddle. Ask for a fart. Ooh! <laughs> Once I did it and I got the go animate fart, guys. Ooh. <laughs> Tell me a riddle. Two things can you never eat for breakfast? Lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. You technically can, but whatever. Tell me a riddle. During what month do people sleep the least? February. It's the shortest month after all. <laughs> Very funny. Um How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Woodchuck would chuck about 700 pounds of wood on a good day with the wind at his back. <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck all the wood he could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a tongue twister. Those three thugs whacked me last Thursday. Those three thugs whacked me last Thursday. Or thwacked. Okay, I'm closing my door because I'm making a video. Wow, it closes so fast when I have my window open. So let's see. Um, tell me a tongue twister. Theophilus Thistle. The Thistle Sifter. Thrust a thousand thistles through the thick of his thumb. Whoa, I can't say that one. Tell me a tongue twister. 
She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the... <laughs> hey, guys, I have a challenge for you. Say Irish wristwatch five times fast. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. I did it. Um, it takes a lot of practice to do that one. Tell me a tongue twister. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee and a proper coffee cup. Oh, those are my neighbors and my dad down there. It's hopefully going to be longer than 15 minutes because Alden got us extended video time. Yay! <laughs> Tell me a tongue twister. Theophilus Thistle, the Thistle Sifter, thrust a thousand... Tell me a riddle. What can you catch Dang but it. not throw? A cold. Which is easier to catch, heat or cold? Sorry. Screw you. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. <laughs> Tell me a tongue twister. You know New York. You need New York. You know you need unique New York. Whoa. Echo, what time is it? Okay, this isn't gonna be longer than 15 minutes. It probably will be, but it probably won't be. So I don't know. Tell me a tongue twister. Give Papa a cup of proper coffee and a proper cup. Tell me a tongue twister. Theophilus Thistle, the Thistle Sifter. Tell me a tongue twister. You know New York. You need New York. Ask for a fart. Oh, that's just, that's just deep nuts. Oh, I'm going to ask it this. But, oh, guys, today at school, this one kid was like, ring, what does the fox say? Ring, ding, 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 ring, ding, 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 these nuts. <laughs> and it was funny. Um... What does the fox say? Cha 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 cha. What does the fox say? Well, cut off. Um, what does the fox say? At the end is a cow. Say that again. What does the fox say? Mama dum day do. Echo, Simon says, ring ding 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 these nuts. Ring ding 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 these nuts. <laughs> oh, God. Play, what does the fox say? What does the fox say if I say it loud? Oh, gosh. I know I'm cringy, I don't care. I don't record until like. This song is so cringy, and yesterday. Oh gosh, this is so yesterday. Play Catch Me Outside, how about that? I can't find the song Catch Me Outside, how about that? <laughs> Simon says... Catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? Ha ha ha, poo poo poo. Can you sad about that? Has must not have out that ha ha ha, poo poo poo. Oh, it got that way wrong. No, screw you.
Ah, uh, screw you. Um, sorry. Um, let's see. Screw you, Echo. Um, anyways, um, I don't know what to do. I hope this video is over. 15 minutes, it probably won't be, though. Stop recording. Ah, <laughs> there we go. So, Echo, what time is it? So the video is probably around 10 minutes now. Sing. Who, me? I couldn't. I hit it. You hit it? Well, my left me oh, gosh. And I'm out in the rain. Those last few answers were hard to obtain. No excuse to put me on you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's raining. Sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Three months late. Screw you. Happy birthday. Screw you. Happy birthday. Screw you. Happy birthday. Screw you. <laughs> Thanks, that goes three months late. Cause my birthday was on December twenty sixth and right now it's March thirteenth. Simon says, ha, 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 I'm an evil robot, ha, 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 poo, poo, poo. Whoa. Oh, ha, 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 evil robot. Uh, did you hear that? <clears throat> At the very end, that was weird. Open the magic door. Welcome back to the Dark Forest Adventure. Oh, God. And yes, we have some light. It's not bright, but we can finally see. Well, this flash, I can't, around. moron. We're in a very small room. I think we're in an elevator. Watch out. The doors are closing. Oh, gosh. The elevator starts moving down. Doors open and we see only smoke and hear strange noises. Stop, stop recording. Button. Ah. The smoke clears a bit and we see a fiery glow in the room in front of us. I believe we are looking into a cellar. It is hard to see, but I think there are some shelves ahead at the back of this room. Should we step into the cellar or stay here in the elevator? Go into the cellar. Should we step into the cellar? Step into the cellar. The elevator? Step into the cellar. Okay. We step out onto a stone floor. As we do, the strange rumbling gets louder and scarier. At least we can now see a little bit more. Here's Flash, I can't. There are shelves lining the wall at the back of this small room. Should we walk over to the shelves or leave this room? Walk over to the shelves. We walk over to the shelves in the back of the room. They are empty except for a brass candlestick with one candle in it. There is also a single match sitting on the candlestick's base. I quickly light the candle with the match and pick it up. In the glow of the candle light, I see that the smoke and fiery glow is coming from underneath a closed door. I can also see the elevator still open on the other side of the room. Should we go to the closed door or go back to the elevator? Go to the closed door. Okay. We walk over to the closed door. Smoke is seeping through the bottom of the door and there is still a lot of noise coming from behind the door. I open the door and we find a smoky stairwell. We quickly realize the noise and smoke are coming from a loud, hot 
Catherine is at the bottom of the stairs. That's a relief. And now we have a way out of here. I think we should climb up. Should we go up the stairs or go back to the elevator? Go back to the elevator. We return to the elevator. When I press the button inside, a small light comes on above the door illuminating the words, out of order. And, sure enough, the elevator does not move. Great. Guess we gotta find another way out of this room. Should we go up the stairs or go back to the elevator? Go up to the stairs. We return to the elevator. When I press the button As I go, inside, to the go to the stairs. A small light comes on above the door. Oh, I said go to the stairs. Out of order. And, sure enough, the elevator does not move. Great. Guess we gotta find another way out of this room. Should we go up the stairs or go, go up the stairs? The go up the stairs. Okay, let's get up those stairs quickly. At the top of the stairs, we push open a small door and we find ourselves back in the entryway. With our candle, we can now see what's around us. I hold up the candlestick and we can see a small table in the corner, an open doorway leading to another dark room, and a large mirror on the wall opposite the front door. What would you like to do now? Go through the large door. We walk through the open doorway into a large, dark room. We walk around with the candlestick and discover what is clearly a dining room. We see large windows, framed in heavy drapes. And, on the wall opposite the windows, there is a large buffet. We also find a long rectangular table with ten Echo. tables around it. Echo! Quit! Stop. Echo, what time is it? It's 9.03 p.m. Stop recording. Button. Video, not that long yet, but who cares? I'm gonna stop it anyways. Simon says, "Peace out, bros." Peace out, bros.